our mold has set up. It's been sitting here plenty of time. So what we're going to do now is clean it up a little bit. Let's see the plaster over the antenna. We're going to clean that up. And I got a couple of drops on the claw. This stuff cleans up real easy. That plaster does not stick to the plastic bait at all. So that stuff cleans up super easy. You can see a lot more antenna now. In fact, that one's sticking out, which is bad. You don't want the parts moving around, obviously, because if I pour plaster on top of that and it floats, now my mold is going to be screwed up, so I'm going to carve off some of this around this sprue hole just so it lays, just so it's fairly flat. Whatever I carve out of, out of this, obviously the top mold will fill it in again, so I'll have two fairly flat molds with half of the sprue runner in each one. I got a bunch of tools here. These tools are pretty pretty handy. This one here is nice and wide. So I can really do some good cleanup. I'm going to take our one of our drill bits. I'm going to make an alignment. Dowel, pin, I guess should say. Nothing scientific about that. Now the next thing we're going to do We're going to make the injection area. So all we want is we just want a point of reference as to where to drill the hole. So I try to just go in the middle. between these two baits. Just try to go in, in between them. Roughly where's the middle at? That's close enough. And then what we have to do is we have to Vaseline the top half of the mold. I like to use 
use a wide, fine paintbrush. If you saw the other video, a lot of times when you go to put the Vaseline on, you see stuff you missed when you were just looking the mold over, like right there's a little dimple. I'm just going to scrape that off, just like that. Now we're going to get back. I like to do the, the big flat parts first, away from the bait. I'm going to paint those in real quick. Then we're going to work close to the bait. Some baits, I actually take the bait right out and put it back in and work with it. But these baits, these craws, I don't do that because though there's too many little pieces. You got the actually the actual opening on the claws themselves, the antenna, and the, even the claws, the the full length of the the claws with the arm. That's, there's a lot of little joints and stuff in there. Those things are really hard to get back into place. So these I try to leave in place. If they come out, I can get them back in. It's just not fun. But you do a Senko or something, you can take that thing out, put it right back in, doesn't matter. Similar to what I did with the, what's gonna be the sprue channel. Now what I do is I hold this up to the light and try to make sure I got everything. That's on a little heavier than what I want. So I just wiped it off with my fingers. You just need the lightest coat on there, just enough to say you put some on. You just don't want to miss a spot because it will it will be permanent permanent bond. I think we got it. So we're gonna put this back in here. And we're gonna mix up part two. So we're going to have to let this sit up until it hardens, and then we'll finish it off. Well, of course, we won't be able to put the sealer on, 
until it completely dries and that'll take about three days. We're not going to wait that long.